What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Smoking Jazz Barbecue. And today we're gonna to be showing you three different types of barbecue rubs that you can use for any kind of meats. And you have the same ingredients that I'm gonna be showing you in your kitchen pantry or your kitchen cabinets. If not, you can definitely get it from your local grocery store. Three simple rubs that you can make in your own kitchen. So y'all stay tuned, I'm gonna show you how to do this. So with today's three simple rubs that we're going to show you today, you can apply these rubs to any kind of meats from beef, pork, chicken to seafood. And it's very simple to do. You can definitely apply this to whatever you want and just got to use your own judgment or own discretion on what to apply to. So today's rub is going to be SVG, all purpose, and for those who like spicy, a little sweet heat. And like I said, it's going to be so simple to make. So today's SVG is going to be Morton's Kosher Salt, as you can see right here. and. We're using the Walmart brand of coarse black pepper, as you can see right there. And of course, again, Walmart's uh, granular garlic, as you can see right there. And for some who likes some onion flavor, we're using minced garlic. And as you can see, these are a little bit more flaky. So this is the simple recipe for some SPG. So here's the process of making some beautiful, simple SPG, and we're gonna use a you know, empty bottle that I'd used from my previous rub and just took the label off. And it's a very dead simple process. And we're gonna use one part of kosher salt, two equal parts of coarse black pepper and granular garlic. And as I stated earlier, this is optional. This is again, uh, onion flakes or minced onion, which has been dried up as you can see right there. And you could just keep it simple as that simple three ingredients were salt, pepper, and garlic. And we're just gonna pour it in, just like that. So there you have it guys. Salt, pepper, garlic, SPG. Now what you wanna do is shake this up really well. And there you have it guys, simple SPG. All right guys, so the next rub we're gonna show you how to do is very simple to do. It's my all purpose rub. You can use this on chicken, pork, and beef, and even seafood. You just gotta use your own discretion on how much you wanna add or subtract based on your palate, based on your taste buds. You can add different types of seasons to make your all purpose rub go is the way you like it, but on my version, it's very simple. And these are the simple ingredients we're using, guys. So as you saw from the previous video clip, we just made some beautiful SPG. And then these items that we're gonna have right here are just gonna be just added on to that all-purpose rub. So we have some light brown sugar here that I like to use because it's, you know, it has a natural, natural flavor that I like. And for those who are diabetics or on a keto diet, you can use Splenda and you can substitute it for that particular uh, version so you don't have to have the carbs. The next thing we're gonna add, guys, is ground mustard. This has a nice robust taste to it. And then followed by onion powder. You can already add this to this particular SPG, guys, and it's gonna be beautiful. Next, we're gonna add, guys, this paprika for that color. This does not have any particular flavor whatsoever, but it gives you that mahogany brown color if you were cooking ribs or smoking ribs or grilling ribs, whatever you wanna do. So definitely add that in. Now, for a little bit of Spanish flavor, I like to use cumin. And for this, it gives you that Spanish flavor that also gives you a nice subtle flavor at the end. Now. A little bit of heat, we're gonna add a little bit of chili powder, as you can see right here. And this is also gonna this is also gonna create that beautiful color for those ribs or the chicken and whatever you're cooking. So this is my dead simple all-purpose rub. So we're gonna add this to this bottle right here, as simple as that. And guys, the parts to these are very simple, guys. I got you know one part of chili powder, one part of cumin powder. I use two parts of paprika, one part of onion powder and of course I got one part of ground mustard with the brown sugar I add two parts to it because I want that extra flavor and that sweetness that you want in your particular all-purpose rub all right guys so as you saw before we made some beautiful SVG and all we're gonna do now is add it to our mixture so we're gonna go with the chili powder again you can adjust or subtract 
We're gonna add our cumin, our paprika, which is two parts, because I want that particular color, our onion powder, our ground mustard, or mustard powder, and our brown sugar, which is the light version. And try to not get over the place like I'm doing. And close the lid, and all we're gonna do, guys, is just shake it up real good. I mean, it's that simple as that, guys. This is my all-purpose rub for anything. All right, guys, so our final particular rub that we're gonna make today is the Sweet Heat Rub for, like I said, anything in particular. Chicken, beef, pork, seafood. If you like it spicy, this is the way to go. So we already made our all-purpose rub, as you can see right here, and the only thing we gotta add is cayenne pepper. With this cayenne pepper, it's gonna give it that spicy, that beautiful, hot, and sweet flavor that you are looking for. And for those who are, you know, into spicy food, you can add less of the ingredients, add more of the cayenne pepper to give you that particular hot flavor that you're looking for. So this is the simplest way to make some beautiful basic rub, guys. All right, guys, so there you have it. We just showed you how to do three simple rubs from SPG, to our all-purpose rub, to a sweet heat rub. Oh man, it's so simple that if I can do it, you can do it. In this particular bottle right here, we got pretty much everything. This is gonna be a generic all-purpose rub that you can use on anything from pork, beef, chicken, and even seafood. You just gotta adjust the way you wanna adjust it to your taste buds. And as I stated earlier, guys, you can add any other seasoning to this that I did not particularly add. So, but this is just my simple that Oh man, and when I'm talking about that simple version, this is it, guys. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Share this video with all your family and friends. And if you like barbecue and grilling, this is your channel right here. Make sure you subscribe right now if you haven't subscribed. So, and guys, leave a comment down below and to tell me what other rub or another seasoning that you like to add in this particular case to make it a beautiful all purpose rub. So, until next week, guys, this is Smoking Jazz Barbecue. Peace.